Hello, my name is Andrew Anstrom. I am a board certified master arborist with Tree Amigos. Here in Austin, Texas, we just entered stage two drought restrictions. We here at Tree Amigos wanted to share with you three of our favorite irrigation technologies that are easy to use to help you keep your trees alive in this brutal heat we're all experiencing. All right, here we've got the Tree Gator Pro. This is uh, a watering bag that we like to use and install on young trees. It holds 15 gallons of water, um, pretty simple to install. It's got a zipper on the back. You can just wrap it around the stem like this. Set the zipper. Zip it up. And then here on the front, it has a little tag that uh, does have the uh, information on how to use it, the instructions and how to set it up. Uh, but that is where you will actually lift up Put your hose in, fill it up like that. It'll fill up completely at 15 gallons, and then it has four very small holes at the bottom that will disperse the water uh, over about four to six hours. Um, that gives a nice deep soak of the root ball and prevents water running off uh, by you know watering with a hose that might let the water run off too quickly. Uh, it does a few other good things too. It also protects the stem from uh, deer injury or other animal injury potentially as well as, more commonly, sun injury, like sun scald or sun burn, uh, which can happen with thin bark species like red oaks and others. Uh, it does have some disadvantages. It will put some weight on the stem, so if you have a smaller 15-gallon tree or so that's maybe one-inch caliper, it may put some lean on that tree if it's not properly staked. Um, you know, different methods may be better for those smaller trees. Uh, additionally, it does only concentrate the water on the root ball itself and doesn't get any water into the surrounding soil. Uh, you know, watering that surrounding soil around the root ball will encourage root development uh, into the native soil. Uh, another disadvantage is that those pores can become clogged and prevent the water from coming out. If you notice that this is sitting full, you'll want to take it off. I'm going to turn it off here. If you do notice that it's staying full and it's not draining, you're going to want to empty it, unzip it, take it off and spray out the very small pores at the bottom and get the dirt or whatever is clogged in there. For our next technology, we have the tree diaper. This is a bit of a newer technology. The way this works is it is basically a bladder filled with a hydrogel. The hydrogel absorbs a lot of water and then it has this thin membrane on the bottom that through reverse osmosis will draw moisture out of the hydrogel into a dry soil or if the soil is inundated, the, the hydrogel will actually draw moisture out of the soil. So it's really good at regulating soil moisture, preventing the soil from hitting permanent wilting point, or from getting too saturated to where the tree cannot get any oxygen. The way these work is you put them in a container, you fill the container up with water, you can even use you know, recycled water from your bathtub or you know other water you've collected. So these, this is a very uh, water-conscious technology. Um, you can just use something as simple as a five-gallon bucket, fill it up with water to where it covers the tree diaper, and then let that soak overnight. Overnight, that hydrogel will take up enough water uh, that it can basically keep the upper layer of soil on a root ball wet for about a month, even in this Texas heat. Uh, to install these, you want to wrap them around the plant. And then you want to install a three inch mulch layer over top of the tree diaper. The pros of this is it really is a great way to keep the soil moist uh, over long periods of time with very little effort. It doesn't put in as much water to the system as a gator bag you know, or a soaker hose, but what it does do is prevent that soil from ever drying fully out. So if you go on vacation for a few weeks, you're not gonna come home to a dead tree. One of the cons to this technology is that the upper layer is not permeable. So if you do water, the water will run off the edge of that upper layer into the surrounding soil. So if there is a big rain event, it can prevent you know, the maximum amount of moisture from getting down to the root ball, which is why we want that, you know, three inch layer of mulch. Another con of this technology is that you have to remove them from the tree, which may require you to pull the mulch off. 
and soak them back in that bucket uh, in order to get them fully charged. But the good thing about that is you really only have to do that once a month to keep it pretty well soaked. Um, so that's not that big of a deal for the benefit that it provides you. We really like these. Uh, we're putting these on all our new plantings. They really help fill in those gaps when people can't keep their tree watered all summer long. They also make other sizes of this. This is, I believe, the 36R. This is designed for trees of, I believe, two to three inch caliper. So your 30 or 45 gallon container stock. You know, they come in two pieces. Uh, because it's a larger area, it makes it easier for you to charge them up. Um, but these work really well for bigger trees and they even make even bigger sizes. Uh, this can also be used in gardens. They have all sorts of different varieties that you can use to suit your needs. You can also combine these two technologies to great effect. Since the tree diaper isn't a direct watering method, you can easily have a tree diaper set up underneath a tree gator, and that way you can get you know those 50 to 15 gallon watering event twice or three times a week, as well as the long-term moisture that it provides from the tree diaper. So this is a great way to combine those two to really help your young trees survive this crazy heat. Here's the last of the methods we'd like to talk about. This is a soaker hose. Uh, this is a water right soaker hose. This one is 50 foot long. There are many kinds of soaker hoses, the old school foam style, sponge style. Uh, there are drip tubing, but this is just a really nice, durable, uh, easy one to use. As opposed to some of the other methods we've shown, this one is suitable for watering much larger trees. This is a you know larger Monterey that's started to be it's far too large of a root system to be watered with any of those other methods we've talked about. So you can kind of keep expanding the range of these soaker hoses as your tree grows and, and get more lifetime out of it like that. Um, so we're watering, you know, much further away from the stem with this one. We're watering a much larger area and just connect it to the end of the hose like this. Turn it on. And you'll notice this, unlike some of the other soaker hoses, will actually spray a bit out of these pores causing it to water an even larger area. Um, if you have it tightly coiled around the stem this way or just over the top of the root ball, it will be watering some of the surrounding soil, which will aid in uh, root establishment into the native soil instead of just further development inside that planting hole. This is definitely the best long-term way to water trees because you can keep using it as the tree gets larger and more established. Um, it, there's also the most durable and and long lasting of the watering methods we've shown. Some of the cons are that those pores can become clogged with calcium potentially, um, and it may output less water over time that way. Um, it's also more expensive than some of the other methods we've shown, um, but ultimately it is gonna give you the most long-term use. All right, well here's a 25 foot version that we have wrapped around this smaller uh, crepe myrtle. It is very tightly wrapped here to put most of the water you know, close into the stem and onto the root ball, um, but it will be, it will spray out a little bit. That one we were looking at before is a 50 footer. So you can hook it up like this and turn it on. And yeah, you'll notice that it sprays a ways out from those small pores. So it will water this surrounding area as well. I do also want to note that it does have an end cap on here that stops the flow. It is possible to run another hose off of this instead of this end cap and then to another soaker hose or watering system to water some other tree nearby. So you can kind of daisy chain these in a row like that. You can also combine this with a timer, any of these methods, the gator bag, you could have a hose run into the gator bag and use a timer to, that you know puts enough water out to fill it up. Uh, or best combined with a soaker hose, you can set these up so you don't really have to sit there and turn the thing on and off as you go. You'll just turn those uh, to whatever amount of time you want it to run for and it'll output that water and you don't have to remember to go turn it off. So, you know, some of these methods can be used to decrease the tediousness of the chore that is watering your trees every, you know, twice a week. We hope this helps you find which watering method is best for your trees and your situation. I think together with technologies like these, we can help to keep Austin's trees watered and growing and keep our urban forests healthy.